a local truck salvage yard. Next to me is this vintage Euclid dump truck. I want to talk a little bit about the history of this truck. Euclid is, was involved with many different companies, General Motors, Caterpillar, and the whole nine yards they've been around. Um, this is a fine example. It's got the, I think, Detroit, this is a Detroit diesel, or it's a, no, it's a Mac. Um, looks to be a one, two, three, four, six, it's a six popper. So, um, you know, pretty decent engine for its size. But as you come along here on the door, it says Euclid, it's embossed. Almost every truck from this era that was made by Euclid has the Euclid um, name embossed in the door. You can see the um, Dayton style wheels. They remove each one of these thong tangs here. Um, they call those tangs. Each one of these you remove and you can pop the rim out, the ring out. Sorry about that, the ring. And this right here, you pop this off and you can lubricate your axle, your front axle. Um, that was a very good idea on their part. The problem was with safety. Um, these rings had a habit of coming out if they had air in the tire. Um, these are a little bit different than your typical split ring wheel, but um, yeah, that's the split ring, which was a Euclid design for this specific truck. There was other companies, Dayton, um, Bud had their own design as well, um, but Bud mainly had their stamp steel wheels, so they kind of got away from doing the um, split ring and uh, in this the typical ring on the wheel. You come along the back, you can see your fuel tank, um, dump bed, it's got all these ribs that's there to help reinforce it. Uh, another cool design was the, uh, the come along the back, you can see that it goes up on an angle. Now a lot of dump trucks had that back then. And you can't really see it from outside, but they have a reinforcement plate. You can see the bolts. They sold reinforcement plates you could put along the back there and there, and it helped uh, reinforce the bottom of these, these dump beds here. So that way, when you're dumping your material, the, over the years, the erosion of it coming in and out of the back of the dump bed here didn't erode it away. That was the big problem with the dump trucks early on was the wear issues that they had on the inside of these dump beds. Okay, um, this is your hydraulic tank right here, your hydraulic reservoir tank. Um, this is your fuel tank. And uh, one thing to note about this that was really that was a really good idea on um, Euclid's part was the fact that they put it behind the cab between the dump bed in case of uh, any collisions or anything. Because what they did a lot of times was they either had them below the cab or actually if a part of the back of the cab a lot of the earlier trucks and that was a big safety problem so putting it behind the cab took away a lot of the safety issues but still it wasn't perfectly safe uh, these are your air reservoir tanks for the uh, air brakes that's right these trucks actually have air brakes uh, a lot of the older trucks from this era like um, chevrolet light duty trucks they have the old uh, hydraulic brakes which are kind of a no-no for a truck this size Air brakes are what you want for a truck this size. Um, even back then, uh, air brakes have been around for a very long time. One more thing, come around the front. Keep the big engine cool. We have this massive cast iron radiator. Um, if you look up top here, we got this the, the tank. This is what they call the tank up top. The tank, the core which is between here, just the core in here, and then we've got the, the bottom tank. Um, I'm beginning, I'm looking, I don't think this engine's original actually. I think this would have had a Detroit diesel in it. But this is a Mac, I've seen them with Caterpillars. Um, I'm sure that there's people out there that really know their stuff about these Euclids. I was just passing through, and I wanted to share some of my knowledge with, with you folks about these old Euclid trucks. They're really, uh, a, a game changer for the industry of the time. Um, if you look at any old photos of any old construction sites, 
you see these Euclids at almost every single one of those construction sites from the late 40s all the way on up through the 60s. One more thing I forgot to mention. I don't know if uh, you can see this here. We got these shutters. Um, the shutters open and close to keep the engine warm or, or uh, to regulate the temperature um, depending on the weather. Um, we got these massive sealed beam headlights here. Um, one on this side, one on the other side, of course. We got these, I call these eyebrows or um, eyelids. I call them eyebrows because, I mean, if you look at the truck from the front end, it kind of looks like an eyebrow over the top of the headlight. They did that to protect them, to get them from, prevent them from getting whacked or smashed. Just the thing to help preserve the lights. Um, yeah, that's pretty, that pretty much covers the Euclid dump truck. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.